jobs, justice, education, health and housing. Over the last year, the nation and this city have been rocked by the devastating realities of a global pandemic and long-lasting racial and social issues that reach their crest. And while the Louisville Urban League has not been spared from the impact of these events, we have never stopped serving. The League, who had almost 16,000 visits to the building between July and March, made the pivot to serve the community virtually and meet people right where they are. Still, our Center for Workforce Development has been able to place 398 people into new jobs with an average hourly wage of more than $14 and representing more than $11.7 million in total wages. We've had 2,900 people attending hiring fairs, workshops, and orientations. 89 men and women have successfully completed our Kentuckiana Bills program, a nationally accredited construction training, and 68 of those people graduated with a new job in hand. 48 people completed our CDL training class and received their Class B license. 39 of those individuals have new jobs at more than $18 an hour. Despite the adversity, this year our workforce training participants have earned 364 national credentials. Our Urban Seniors Jobs Program has been more important than ever during this critical time, as we serve 168 seniors over the age of 55. Many of our 48 partner host agencies around the state have had to close their doors or go remote, but with help from the National Urban League and Department of Labor, we have been able to maintain more than $788,000 in wages for them. We help 49 complete our specialized senior tech customer service program and had 12 seniors enter into unsubsidized employment. Justice is the thread that runs through everything that we do. Last year, 591 individuals received expungement services through the Rally Reentry Project, saving more than $137,000 in potential legal and court fees. And we could not have done this work without the help of our 68 volunteers, attorneys, and partners around the state. We did our part to make sure Louisville was counted, promoting the federal census throughout the community, and directly assisting over 100 people to complete the survey. During the primary, we registered 261 voters, helped almost 100 people with the mail-in ballot process, and transported 57 people to the polls. And then, we legally challenged the state to guarantee more access, ensure safer and more free voting experience for all Kentuckians. And it was a big win for Kentucky. Thanks to our advocacy, for the friends like ACLU, the NAACP and others, and the bipartisan leadership of the Governor and Secretary of State, Kentucky experienced the most accessible election in its history. This year has been particularly rough on our youngest residents. Students and their families had their year unexpectedly upended by the pandemic. And while we all understood the need to move away from the building and into virtual classrooms, we still mourn the loss of one last game, recital, pep rally, or graduation ceremony. But despite the challenges, students have pushed forward and the league has done everything we can to help them out along the way. We serve more than 325 students through our five educational programs. We delivered more than 400 hours of instruction for fourth and fifth grade boys, middle school girls, high school students, and 67 families with kids of all ages. 100% of our seniors graduated last year and 95% of them started college this fall. 60% of them received more than $160,000 in scholarships. Our students had the opportunity to travel, learn chess, and martial arts, and some even got to write a book. 175 youth participated in taking pictures of what peace and justice looks like to them and processed living through the pain of Breonna and countless other racial injustices in the middle of a pandemic. On the policy side, we have pushed JCPS to be a more equitable and just space for all of our children and will continue to do so. We have been a partner with Evolve 502, helping them secure funding for students to go to college, and we remain active with partners across the state seeking innovative ways to close the achievement gap. At the Louisville Urban League, health is more than your weight, your blood pressure reading, or latest doctor report. When we think about health, we're thinking about whole people and the environments they live in. Because what's happening in the world around you, your job, your community, your family, and how you are feeling about it mentally and physically impacts your ability to thrive. 
Last year, our community health navigators supported more than 115 people, connecting them to doctors, counselors, food, transportation, housing, and a host of other resources. Together, we worked to increase the number of good mental health days our participants had by more than three days and improve the number of good physical health days by more than two days over a 30-day period. That's more days that someone was able to go to work and earn their paycheck, go to class and learn, or just be present for their family. And there is no price we can put on that. Since COVID, we have helped to feed hundreds of families hosted multiple virtual mental health clinics, paid more than $100,000 in rental assistance, provided over 1,300 people with free COVID-19 testing, and made 350 home visits to some of our more hard to reach clients just to be sure that they're okay. We have done all this and more because we know that life's challenges don't happen in silos. And so our services can't either. Our Center for Housing and Financial Empowerment is here to help people understand their finances, navigate specific financial situations, and begin to build wealth. Regardless of where you may be starting, we believe there is a pathway to greater economic stability for you and for future generations. Last year, 119 families completed our home ownership counseling program. That means they're ready to own. They have increased their credit score to 640 or better, worked with our certified financial counselors, and saved at least $2,000. 53 of those families became new homeowners, creating more than $6.6 .6 million in new mortgages. Our team helped to save 15 homes from foreclosure. That is $1.2 million in home value saved. In addition, we moved our educational courses online and have served more than 1,200 in our financial education workshops and 185 people in our home buyer education classes. Despite the obstacles presented by the pandemic, our team remains committed to addressing the financial needs of our community because we know that right now, especially now, the need to be able to manage one's finances is absolutely essential. Jobs, justice, education, health, and housing. Last year was hard, and for many, the struggle will continue in the weeks and months ahead. But the Louisville Urban League will be here, just as we have for the last 100 years. We will be here to serve to demand justice, and to be a catalyst for real change.